All right, shaping up to be a busy monsoon season. You've probably seen some of the trees down in your neighborhood or maybe even lost one of your own trees. So what should you do with all that debris? Anita is live this morning with more on how to put that waste to good use. Hey, Anita. Oh, look at that. Wow. Impressive. Hi. I know, right? Yes. We needed to start with this shot because it's so impressive. So all of that yard waste that blew into your yard, maybe all the trees that broke and the palm tree fronds that fell and everything else that you have been cleaning up the past couple of days, you can bring it here to the city dump and they will turn it into compost, which is fascinating. And my good friend Alexis is joining us live out here this morning. So tell us about the program. Yeah, so uh, this is our 27th Avenue compost facility. And as you mentioned, you know, yard waste can be brought here. And um, it goes through a series of processes to break it down into a nutrient-rich compost. Okay, let's rewind because you don't necessarily have to bring it here. If you live in a certain area, you actually have a bin that can be picked up just like your trash or recycle. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So we have uh, three bins. So you'll have your trash, your recycle, and your green organics bin, which is a tan bin. Um, and it's uh, eligible for its for certain parts of the city. Yeah. Um, so you would go on the website, type in your address mm -hmm. uh, at phoenix.gov slash compost to find out if you're in the eligible area. If you are, you can request a bin. Um, it is $5 per month, but you can put all your yard waste in it um, with a few exceptions. But pretty much your grass clippings, your tree branches, all of that material can go into that bin. All right. And if you can't get a bin, then you can actually bring it here. Your landscapers can bring it here. Um, when they have those big pickups, right, the big bulk pickups, and you see a lot of greenery, they bring that here as well. Well, it comes to the transfer station, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So how do we make compost then? Um, so here we'll drop the material off. Um, it'll first get fed through a grinder, so it gets ground into smaller pieces. Um, and then from there, it'll get laid out into big rows called wind rows. And so those rows are uh, turned for the next 45 to 60 days until you reach your finished product, which is your compost. And what are we seeing there? Is that compost already or is that in the process of? It's in the process of. So you're seeing the turner right now um, turning the piles, um, but those are the rows uh, that are known as wind rows. Wow, pretty amazing. And then um, when it's done, how do you get a hold of some of that compost? What do you do with it? Yes, yeah, so you can put it in your uh, backyard, on your garden. Um, um, so you can call We Care Organics, which is our composting uh, operator, and request uh, to purchase some compost. And pretty, pretty uh, reasonably priced, but it does so much out here um, when it comes to landscaping. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, really nutrient rich, so it's kind of like a vitamin for your soil. So, um, you know, really great for your gardens. But yeah, you can call We Care Organics uh, to purchase some compost. How busy have you guys been since the storm hit the, uh, what was it, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday? It never stopped, <laughs> but the worst of it was probably, I think, Thursday to Friday, Friday to Saturday. Have you been just getting tons of stuff? Yes, yeah. We saw this in uh, previous uh, monsoon seasons as well where there were some really heavy storms and so we'll see uh, a big influx in the material coming to the facility. Pretty incredible. Okay, uh, website one more time. Phoenix.gov slash compost. And everything's on there, you guys. You can't miss it. It's all spelled out for you, all the information. You can request a bin, find out if you're eligible. Five bucks a month or you can bring it here and then they then they do that with it. Those are the rows. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah, it really is. And they wow. have not stopped working. They have not stopped working I since we got here. Stop. Yeah, all those trees there in yeah. the foreground too. We're gonna Yeah, we're gonna stick around and for the next hour and we'll come up with something else exciting to show you. Oh good. <laughs> There's so much happening out yeah. there. Yes, okay, like looking it. forward to it, Anita. Thank thanks. You, Anita. Last hour Anita introduced us to the City of Phoenix's Green Organics program where they recycle and compost yard waste. Anita joins us now with more about this program. Anita, does it what does it smell kind of uh, like a forest out there with all of them cutting up that wood? No? Like a real musty mm. kind of forest. Oh, so yeah. the answer is <laughs> yeah. no. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Yes, but let me tell you, I'm going to come back here at Christmas time when they're grinding the trees because that will be mm -hmm. heavenly. Okay, so that's our pile of debris, right? And so it's dumped here. People can bring it. Landscapers can bring it. City will pick it up. Enrique is with Denali Water Solutions. We care Denali. We care Denali. And so you grind for the city. Yeah, so we take in all the city of Phoenix's uh, green waste, uh, about 55,000 tons a year. We run 55 to 60,000 tons of green waste through this grinder uh, between our initial grind and uh, regrind. Okay, so what is this? How does the grinder work? We're not running it right now because, because number one, they're working on it. Number two, it's very, very loud. So we'll turn it on for you at the end of the segment as we toss back so you can see how loud it is. But how does it work? What's the process? How quickly does it move? So it has a hopper in feed system on this side where all the green waste runs down on a conveyor belt 
the conveyor belt feeds it to our mill that has 21 teeth and grinds it down to a six inch minus, uh, which comes out the other side on the exit belt and then we move it and put it in our uh, composting. So piles. the big piles that we see over there, uh, that's what the end result out of this machine comes out of. Yes, yeah, wow. all your six inch minus comes out of it. And so you have this, this one machine. We have this one machine, so again, after the, re after the grind on the six inch, we'll regrind it down to a two inch. Wow, and how do you, why do you have to grind it down to two inch? What's the science behind getting it ground down to a specific size? Does it compost better? Does it work better that way? It's already been broken down. We've already taken out all of our fines, everything that we need out of it. So once we, we regrind it, we'll let it sit for a couple weeks and uh, we'll pull more fines after it's, it's broken down some more. Okay, and Alexis is rejoining us. And so a lot of yard waste because of the monsoon storms, how do people get it to you again? Remind them. Yeah, so we have our curbside green organics program, um, which allows uh, residents to put their yard waste into the bin and then we'll come and pick it up just like your trash recycling and your green organics. That's that light brown bin that we might see on right. the street next to everything else. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's five bucks a month. No yeah. big deal if you do a lot of, if you have a lot of yard waste. Right, okay. exactly. And then, um, it comes here. How do you buy the compost? How much does that cost? How do you get a hold of that? Um, as far as cost, that it's all through We Care. So you would call We Care to purchase compost. Okay. So on the phoenix.gov slash compost page, there's some, some instructions to reach out to We Care. Okay, fantastic program. Enrique, you're going to start this bad boy out. Can I do it? Or yeah. my okay, he's gonna let me start it out. So you, this is not even like full tilt, right? This no, is just kind of. No, this is just gonna be idle. Uh, just turn the key, turn it all the way on like okay. a car, and then when it turns on, it's on. Okay, so we'll have a link to uh, the city's website, uh, fox10phoenix.com. So if you're interested, uh, everything you need to know is this way, right here. Fire it up. This is here the power. Turn it on. 